Hello and welcome back to Swell Field Trainers. My name is Shadab. So in this class, we'll be looking at this given project from one of my students. The problem here is if I go for the detailing part and click on verify members pass, nearly 55 members are failing here. So I click on yes. I'll select all of them. So I'll just click on yes. So all of them are selected. I'll right click over here and click on show selected objects only. So we can see that all the members are failing. Not a single member is a column member, but all of them are beam members. Okay, so I'll just go over here and click on uh, display design info and go for uh, total rebar percentage and click on apply over here and you can see that all of them are coming in red color right now. That means they have failed, but because we can see the values, they have not failed in the main steel category. Okay, they have failed in the shear category. All right, so you can see here if we come over here, it's passing almost all of them, but in one it is failing. Okay, so like this, you have to go and check almost all your beams and you can see that most of them are failing in what they are failing in. Here, if they were failing in the main reinforcement, we would have got something like ORS. That means they are overstressed members. Okay, so how do I solve this given problem? So the very straightforward answer would be to make sure that we can decrease our shear. Now to decrease the shear, either you can increase the area of your member. Just right click and click on details. Let me just open it up. So what you can do is either you can increase your area, so you can provide more amount of shear reinforcement and make it safe, or what you can do is you can release the torsion in your beams. Now how do you release the torsion in the beams? For that, you have to unlock your model first. Okay, so 55 members are failing here and we have to save all the 55 members today. So I'll just unlock the model over here and I'll go to my definition, go to section properties, go to frame sections. In the frame sections, I have beam over here, right? So I click on modify by show properties. So once I do this, I can click on modify by show, prop, uh, show properties over here. All right. And you can see they have given some moment of inertia release over here already because they have applied the earthquake load. So let me just close this. I'll just show you the definition and go for load patterns and you can see they have applied EQX and EQY. They have given that if you refer the code book IS-93 in that they have given the moment of inertia release that you have to give. So I won't get into that. I'll directly take you to the torsion release method. So you have to click over here and you can see torsion constant is 1 over here. Just make it 0.01. Okay, just make it 0.01 and click on OK and click on OK. So the shear reinforcement that you provide, you provide it for two things. One is for torsion and the other is for the resisting of the direct shear forces that are, that are coming onto your beams part. Okay. So once you have done this, now what you can do is just click on show all objects and set everything. Okay. Set everything. And you can go for your uh, design options, concrete frame design and view by revise overrides. Now, if you don't select the whole thing, if it is like this, when you go for design option, this option will not be available to you. Okay. So select the whole thing, then go for design concrete frame design and click on view by revise overrides option and if you see here the framing type is ductile by nature why is it ductile because you're applying the earthquake load and everything but if in case you're not applying the earthquake load because this is just the g plus 5 structure okay so if you go for edit and go for edit story and grid data uh, here okay you can see here that the found the plinth is there then we have first floor second floor third floor fourth and fifth and then we have terrace generally up to g plus 4 g plus 5 you don't have to apply the earthquake load but if you're applying in zone 3 or zone 4 and above you have to apply the earthquake load if it is in a very high earthquake, uh, earthquake area. So what I'm going to do now is if it was not earthquake, I'll just go for this. I'll make it ordinary. But as we have applied earthquake load in this, I'll leave it a ductile only. Okay. So let me just unlock this model from here and let me just run the analysis here. So it will take some time because it's a big project. So it will take some time to run the analysis. So in the meanwhile, if you want to get your doubts cleared like this from my end, you can just come and join our uh, training program, it safe and RCDs, and you can share me your files and I'll help you uh, solve your doubts and everything. Uh, a lot of things are covered in this. If you go to the content uh, aspect of it, uh, you can see we have got reviews and everything. And even I'm making a doubt video on YouTube only, uh, doubt, sol uh, doubt solving video. And you can come in, we have ATAPs, we have RCDC, uh, we have SAP 2000 also in this. And this, we have got ATAPs and save both. Okay, so we can see Hindi and English, it's available in both the languages and everything. Okay, so please download our app. You can find the link in the description. Let me come back and check. Okay, so it is done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the concrete frame design next. This also will take some time. All right. So you can, if you want, you can just come and see the other courses also in the meanwhile. And one more thing is I'm doing a price drop sale. So when this video goes out, this price will go down. Instead of being 999, it'll be like same thing, like 499 or something. This will be 299. This will be 1000 rupees or something like that. So price drop sale will go live by the time this video goes into the YouTube. So you can just download our app and check out the content over there. So now, Coming back, I have run the analysis and I have done the concrete frame design. I'll come over here and click on display design info. And you can see here if I do, let me just check all the members are passed or not first. Okay, so verify members passed. You can see one member is failing. So I'll just select this 
and click on show select object only so from 55 members we have come down to one single member now when i open this and see it is filling completely in shear okay now why in beams we can see shear failure that is because they're taking too much of stiffness on okay so how do i decrease the stiffness of my beam the simple and straightforward method is to decrease the size of the beam right now the beam is approximately 250 cross 450 i'll decrease the size i'll assign that new size to this and we'll run the analysis again okay so let's unlock the model over here so i want to decrease the stiffness of my beam so i'll go to define i'll go to section properties frame sections in the beam i'll do add copy of property so everything will remain same in the back end uh, beam 250 cross 300 is a smaller beam okay so we can reduce the size for it and reduce the stiffness of it so click on ok and click on ok then select this object go to assign frame and in the section property assign the new property 250 cross 300 click on apply and click on ok so once you have done this you have reassigned the uh, you know size you have decreased the size and decreased the stiffness by therefore so show all objects you can do and you can rerun the analysis okay why we are decreasing the stiffness because if it is more stiff it will take more amount of load onto it and because it is a smaller member we don't have to give a very huge size for it anyway so second time around it will turn much faster than the first time so just wait over here only and uh, we can click on the concrete frame design now okay so once that is done we click here and we click on verify members passed and all the members have passed so from 55 members we have saved all the members and we have saved the project okay what we had done we had just released the torsional constant and we had uh, decreased the size of the beam that was having more amount of uh, forces coming and acting on it so if you're interested please come and check out our courses over here we have launched the new safe course on advanced flat slab also it has the detailing aspect also included i think it's approximately 8 to 10 hours of content i think and if you want to learn the construction sequence of a project you can come and check out this course in particular safe is over i mean safe is over here stat pro is over here so we have all these courses and again we'll be running a price drop sale so by the time you watch this video these prices will definitely go down you can just come and check out the content uh, in the app Thank you.